Thank you for staying with us. Christmas celebration is defined by love and this is already radiating in Kaduna State, Northwest Nigeria. The state governor, Ubasani, made a surprise appearance at the Kaduna Unity Christmas Carol organized by the state chapter of the Christian Association of Nigeria. This marks a significant shift in the approach of the state towards religious harmony and inclusivity. At the Karun, held at the Evangelical Church, winning all, but so winning for all, that's Equa. English section, Sabun Tasha in Chikun local government area of the state, Governor Sani announced an end to the era of disunity in the states. Let's hear from the governor. In Kaduna, the era of Muslim, Christian, ethnic difference by the grace of God is over. We are one. And everybody will be treated equally without any discrimination under my leadership. So I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I can assure you, I will also join some of my friends on the Christmas day to celebrate Christmas with you. And I may be invited to come in the house so that we can eat together on the Christmas day. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think his comment simply means to us that a new page has come. Uh, we've had terrible comments coming out of Government House of Kaduna. And today we are hearing lovely, gently, brotherly comment coming from our governor. That shows that it is no longer yesterday. We are in a new time, a new season. And it's coming at Christmas, celebrating the Prince of Peace. We call for peace. We work with the governor for peace. Because we believe that even criminals fear when people are united. Wow, Governor Ubasani. Yes. You know, towing the different parts. Completely. As the governor of Kaduna State, Completely. that state has been divided. It is the most divided state along religious lines in our country. What we have in uh, Kaduna State is similar to what they have in Lebanon, mm. where Christians stay on one side, Muslims mm. stay. The belief of people is that once you cross, the bridge, the bridge over the Kaduna River, that, that the, from that point yeah. upwards is the Christian territory. Mm. Southern. Yes, so it's like that bridge is the natural boundary. Over the matter of Sharia, I to this uh, democratic dispensation, more than a thousand people were killed fighting on both sides, killing each other because of Sharia or religion. So Kaduna is extremely divided. To find a Christian, Christians who will go and live inside to do wada. <laughs> uh, they simply see those places as places meant for uh, uh, Muslims. Mm -hmm. While places like Sabon Tesha and the rest, they believe that is for Christian television village, all of those places. I believe those it, shouldn't be. it shouldn't be, but that, you see now, we have a governor who is now trying to change the whole narrative. He's trying to make people see that in Kaduna, the people can be united around a common cause. Religion should no longer divide people in Kaduna states. And this is the this is what Ubasane is trying, trying to do. I would have been disappointed if we didn't do something like this because Ubasane has a very rich background as an activist, along with Sheu Sane and the rest of them. We fought for democracy. You, you, you are not supposed to be a bigot and occupy that position. So it's really impressive to see him sit with them. Khan used to be demonized, call names. Well, here is a governor sitting with them, attending the carol service. Maybe the next time they will even read one of the nine lessons. Mm. Who knows? And you can see, he's saying, look, 
that I won't even mind for you to come and hold the Karo service in government house. Mm. I mean, what, what else can you ask for mm. from a Muslim governor? Mm. We are one people. And the, those two religions, they, they, they both came from the same part of the world, from the Middle East. And the similarities in the two religions, the similarities are striking. Yet we continue to kill ourselves. Christians killing Muslims, Muslims killing Christians. For what? So uh, I would like to encourage the Governor of Bassani to continue to tow this part of equity, uh, religious uh, harmony, and uh, let him continue to set the right example for, for, for our people. So, so now you, you Kaduna, this um, Kaduna right now has a Christian as his speaker. Mm -hmm. You know the speaker of the uh, state lost at the appeal court. So they now have a, a, a Christian speaker. as a speaker. It's Those been a very long time since that last happened. Apart from that, you now have the, F, uh, the Inland Revenue Service. The man who heads the Inland Revenue Service is also a, uh, a Christian. A Christian. Mm. So good things are happening. This mm. is, this is uh, what I can say. The last administration, you know, it was so daring that at a point in time, the man didn't even bother think, uh, to think about um, religious balancing again. He just was just doing his thing, and that aggravated the animosity between the southern and the mm -hmm. uh, 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 yeah. northern part of the state. Yeah, that's why I salute the, the move made by the, uh, the present uh, governor. Because I doubt if it's, um, um, if the former governor is uh, in line, you know, is in tandem with what, what he's doing now. But I'm happy. It has to be done. You know, when you're a governor of a state, you're supposed to unite your state yeah. and not divide it. Yes. You know, when he was the governor, he, he did it with impunity. And seeing his pres the present governor doing this shows that he was not in line with, you know, he was not happy with what he was doing. Because really, it doesn't pave way for development. You can't develop the state when you divide it, you know, on ethnic and religious line. And you expect things to change, you know. So um, I listened to the um, governor, Ubasani, and he was saying, we're growing up. We used to go for carols, and my dad was even, you know, used to encourage us to go for such, yeah. because then there was no, uh, there was no division. Yeah. We all sit in the same classroom, we eat, this, you know, from the same plates. Yeah. We do things together, and then suddenly you're hearing this one is this, this one is that, you know, created by one man, mm -hmm. and it's out now. Unite the states and see if peace and will reign. This harmony, yes, happen. it will, it will happen. What, 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 I don't know what happened. With Aero he has Kaduna, to do that. If you see in Kaduna, the, that division has even caused a kind of imbalance in terms of growth and development of the two. It will. One part is growing uh, geometrically, the other part, that is economically, the other part is not happening because people are scared to go there. That should not happen. It's one state, one people. I, 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 I really uh, hope that Governor Obasani can, can even take this further. Let the people feel comfortable. A different governor, the moment, you know, governors want to determine with speaker. The moment mm -hmm. that person lost his seat, the speaker, he will have been insisting mm -hmm. that they should the same, uh, vote for another this, Muslim. If it was but he let the, the deputy, he encouraged them to allow their deputy, for a reason. The deputy mm -hmm. to, to, to continue. So we now have it, it must be balanced. As a, as a because the deputy is a Muslim, right? The deputy, deputy governor. Yes, yeah, a Muslim. You know, the deputy is a Muslim. And the governor is, is Muslim. Muslim. So well. balancing it with speaker makes sense. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, before, before he lost out uh, the appeal court, he was a Muslim. Muslim. Was there. But the deputy was now allowed to step into that position, mm -hmm. which was a move sanctioned by the governor. Instead of competing for yes, instead, instead of return, uh, return saying, to okay, start or yeah. have another uh, hmm. nation and all that. So it's a it's, 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 it's a of joy yeah. for me. All right. So joining us is the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria in Kaduna State, Reverend John Ayer. Thank you for staying with us.
How are you? Good afternoon to everyone. All right. Good afternoon, Bishop. How would you describe the <laughs> appearance you, of the... Were you, were, you, uh, were you aware it was coming or it, it, it did it to surprise everyone? No, there, 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 really, there wasn't a surprise. I think that's an angle I may want to correct. It mm -hmm. wasn't a surprise visit. Um, but Oba, when he came on board, after a few months, he started to getting himself out of the old passion of attacking and being antagonistic to everybody. Mm -hmm. He started reaching out to the faith community, to the social cultural community, to elders and everyone. As one of you did uh, explain, Uber has been with people for a long time. I think that is one of the key area of departure. So mm -hmm. Uber understand relationship, Uber, Uber value relationship. Yeah. The one day told me that you remember when uh, Yakua was alive, I used to come around, you would take me to Yakua. I didn't even remember those stories. So you see, uh, sometimes when people can easily appreciate past gesture, then you know they are human, they, are, they know what relationship is all about. So in one of our conversations, I told him we we're going to have a Christmas carol, and he said, look, I'm going to come. But what we never did, we never wrote a letter to him, but we had a conversation over a month ago, and he promised he's going to come. Uh, I was away from the country. I arrived on Saturday night. I just sent him a text that, look, the carol is tomorrow. And he said, I am coming. And that was all. Uh, we didn't even tell people he was going to come because we are not sure. But a few hours to the event, he confirmed he has left Abuja on his way. And from Abuja, straight mm -hmm. to the venue of the meeting. So Uba have shown uh, a good spirit, uh, a willingness to relate and associate with the people. Uh, one of the meetings I attended recently, with other religious leaders, he stood up there and said, look, I saw an ought to defend everybody. And I'm going to stand before God to give account of myself. I don't want on that day to be ashamed. None of you is going to defend me. So please allow me to be fair to everybody because I want to sleep. I don't want a situation where people will be seeing me as a bigot. So that's a true departure. And uh, he also have gathered around him some very good lieutenants who know how to speak, what to speak. I have always reminded him that, look, your men are actually human. They know what to say. And you know, the problem with human beings is that if you don't help them, don't also insult them. Uh, if you cannot support them, don't cause them pain. The church we actually did the Christmas carol is in Sabon And uh, the road to that place is actually terrible. I just simply asked, told him in church that, look, you can see the difference between where you are coming from and with this church. And <laughs> we are in the same Kaduna, not another different city. And that's when he stood up to say, look, he must make sure that all his activities and uh, development goes to the rural community so that every place in Kaduna should look the same. It must not just be one sided that is good and another side doesn't look good. So to us, it's a welcome development. I can say that a large number of the Christian community are happy. Yes, we may have one or two skepticism, but it is natural. For me, I'm happy that a governor can think this way. A governor can relate with his people. He could see the joy, children, women, everybody wanting to shake hands with him. What else do people need from their governor? Just identify with them, love them, show them you are with them. And that will be all. Now, um, what is the significance of this in terms of the relationship between the two dominant religions in Kaduna State? Kaduna has been fractured by religious uh, issues. It, it's true I, that I think they have the misrepresentation out there. Yes. We have a wonderful relationship between Christians and Muslims. We started this in 2000 after the Sharia crisis and the Miss World Beauty pageant crisis in 2002. Yeah. We were able to sustain the peace from 2002 November till April 2011. That, uh, that means we successfully kept peace for nine years. Then the post-election violence that came up about uh, Buhari and let, it was just not in Kaduna, but in many parts of the north, and then took us back. So what we started doing was to see how we can restore that success we have achieved for nine years. Then Yakoa died. When Yakoa died, people became angry and other things. But somehow, in 2015, our hope is that someone like the former governor with his exposure would have come and rebuilt and established a system that will restore that gains of nine years. Unfortunately, the kind of language we were getting from him, mm -hmm. from those that were working for him, I think they were speaking that language because that's the language he loves. And so things became degenerated into the situation that every time you hear us just complaining, crying, either it's to couple today, it's bringing value tomorrow, it's can next tomorrow. So it was like everybody 
was uh, crying. I think just few boys could stood, uh, stood their ground and keep telling the governor, no, this is not the right way to go. So there is this relationship between Khan and JNI in Kaduna State that is so great. I remember even before the election, we agreed together that, look, anybody who wins that election, no one group will go and congratulate the other. We must go as a team. Uba was shocked the day we met with religious leaders, and I told him that story, and the Muslim clerics confirmed that that was our agreement. But you know, those who have been foiling the violence prefer to hide this kind of effort and keep uh, magnifying the other part of division uh, because it helps them get a lot of money, it helps them siphon a lot of funds. That's simply what it is. So they will speak language that uh, will pick up more tension instead of solving problems. I can see that Uba understands that very well, and so he works with the two of us. Myself and the GNI chairman are working together. He's a professor. He's an age man. The parity between my age and him is far. But there's that understanding. Sometimes when I speak, you say, look, whatever can chairman says, I agree with it. We went last week for the presentation of budget. The fact about it is that the moment the budget was presented by one of his commissioners, they say, no, we don't need to talk. Khan, what do you think about it? And when Khan stood up and said, look, this is our understanding, they say we concur. And that's what we've been doing. So the magnifying of that differences was deliberately done mm -hmm. for certain reason that the only those who did it can explain it. So what's your, your message to adherence of the two religions, um, especially in this um, season? You see, I... I, I Champion the campaign here, we call it We Are One Family Under God. Because according to the Holy Bible, the Torah, and the Holy Quran, the account of creation clearly states that men came from one ancestral origin, that is from Adam and Eve. So all of us are members of one family. I cannot see myself hating a Muslim or hating another person because he belongs to another tribe. As the country chairman of Katuna State, my wife, her mother is the only Christian in their home. And we are of the same tribe of Southern Kaduna. Everybody in the house of my wife is a Muslim. Her mother is the only Christian. They come to my house. I go to them. We relate together. I have sponsored and taken many of my in-laws, including my friends, to Mecca. I have been known even on NTA and FRC and Kaduna to be supporting Tapsir. So I cannot see myself coming to promote division. And I know very well many Christian leaders and many imams will not like that. But you know, politicians have a way of magnifying this whole thing for certain gains. Uh, that's why when one video came out some time ago, clearly shows that that was the agenda. Uh, the agenda is divide the people to continue to pursue something you want to. But... The reality is that there's no way we can be different because we go to the same market, we go to the same hospital, we have the same issue. The fact is that all of us suffer the same pains and lack of job. So why divide the people? When you unite the people, it helps you a lot. But when you divide the people, you won't have the best of governance. I said it and I want to repeat here that even criminals will know that their game is over when the people are united. The division only helps criminals to have a field day to continue to, to continue to do what they want to do. But let the people unite, then evil people among them will know that their game is over. So the governor, the former governor, mistakenly didn't understand this and allow this division to continue to be for political gain. But I'm happy that Uba is saying, no, I prefer to have a united Kaduna than just wanting to make sure that I continue to dominate. Oh, thank you, Reverend John. I have the chairman of the Christian Association of the Jeffrey. Kaduna State. I want to thank you. We'll take you to Imo State now. Thank you also for having me. Thank you for staying with us. We'll take you to Imo State now, South, uh, Southeast Nigeria, where they are having their Christmas um, okay. carol. We'll be right back. Join us on our other platforms. All right, Jude. Religion should not. Religion should not play any role. At least it should not be used to divide us. Mm -hmm. At all. It should not be used to you know, divide us. It makes really absolutely no sense. It's barbaric. It makes no sense. Mm. And uh, Ubasane has shown the way. I want to see other governors, mm. um, Muslim governors, Christian governors, mm. take the example that Ubasane has shown. Mm. Um, Kaduna used to be like Lagos. There's hardly any family that would not have at least one person resident in Kaduna. Kaduna was 
such a beautiful place. Mm. But some people turned our Kaduna. You know, I was born in this state. So I was born in Zaria. I was born in uh, Usasa Hospital, Zaria. And what I want to see is a Kaduna that is prosperous, that continues to grow in leaps and bounds, and that continues to benefit from good governance. Good governance that does not alienate the people. That is what we want to see. And the governor has shown the way, and I'm happy that even the camp people, who used to be terribly opposed to mm -hmm. the status quo in the state, they are happy with him. They are happy with what he has done. That gesture is significant. It's symbolic. And uh, whoever told the governor to do that gave him a good advice. Yes. Tony? Yes. Uh, it, shows that we can, uh, it shows that we can actually do things better. And he tells us that it's true. the majority of our problems are man-made, you know, are made by politicians, you know. Another steps out, one, one steps out, another steps in, is correcting it, which means, is, you know, these are things we cost, you know, by ourselves. You know, we can actually bring peace, development, and growth to states if we mean it. If we do not mean it, we do things to cost vision and for a reason. I if I stood on it for eight years. Now he's gone, a new governor is coming, and I'm happy. Awesome. Because you could, see, you could see the way the can chairman is, you know, is talking. It can't happen before. It's like, it's, it's like a new day. He, he has embraced the governor already. The states, Christians have embraced the governor. That's against the other one that divided it. And with so much impunity, and, you know, without even recourse to any, you know, with respect to anybody. This is what should be. You are, you are a governor of a state. To bring everybody to, together, to, to unite the state, not to say this is better than this, this, I will take care of this, I won't take care of it. No, it, it won't grow. That is not how the country will grow. And Kaduna plays a very significant role in the country's growth. You can't, anything that happens in Kaduna touches this country. And when it comes to religion, we have to be very careful about it.